Hello everybody and welcome back to Blue Jay Acres. My name is Noelle. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hopefully you decide to stick around, give a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. So today is a really fast video, a really fast, easy, easy day of meals. Because it has just been, we had a busy, busy weekend and we were busy again yesterday and then today it's just kind of dreary and we're just kind of feeling kind of lazy although he is in there doing stuff now but i'll show you that in a minute here is just a real quick breakfast and lunch and then we'll jump into dinner and i'll show you what he's up to all right so today's breakfast we're doing a yogurt parfait just have some yogurt here we're eating the rest of this yogurt that we have some blueberries and some granola that we had and that's it that's breakfast today I'm trying to use up all the things that we already have open this month the blue jays have started coming out okay so for lunch today we are keeping meals just really pretty simple today we are gonna do a taco salad we made up a bunch of taco meat yesterday and we did tacos for dinner so we're just going to do some fast and easy taco salad. Okay, so we're just going to start with some salad. Probably have to cut another head of lettuce. I am sure everybody will come back for however much more they want. They can get seconds, thirds, whatever. I made up a couple pounds of this ground beef yesterday. So there is plenty of it. And we're just doing just the very basic taco salad. Some cheese, a little salsa. and some sour cream. If I had avocados, I would throw some avocados in here too. But that's it, just very basic, very simple. That's lunch today. It's gonna be a day full of just easy meals. All right, so what are you up to? Seeds. Seeds, Luke helped him I with some this so morning already. I am so late on getting these started. Yeah, we're very late getting seeds going. But I needed my dining room to get through Theo's party. And now I just need to reclaim my dining room by Easter. I make no promises. No, you will make promises. I have to have my dining room by Easter. Now, I'm going to move into that back spare room, but i got to make some room back there. Yeah. I'll put him in front of the window. i four foot grow light. And Luke was helping him. It is time to get all the tomatoes and peppers started. Yeah, he helped me plant, uh, what was it? Eight, eight of them peppers yep these are all peppers these are your i have no idea oh we made a list they so, are your big red sweet peppers. i'll show you over here so everything was planned out before doing it he is very good about that it's so like jalapenos what we're gonna plant how many we're planting big sweet um wonder sweet all different poblano i want we that we don't have them yet but i want to grow poblano this year so this is all the peppers and then we got to get all the tomatoes started as well we definitely have a better idea of how many tomatoes we need because if you guys saw when i was canning the tomato sauce that i used all of them and i only got like five quarts and a pint and so i need a whole lot more tomatoes than we had last year a whole lot more yep for sure so when I'm all said and done, and just in case anybody's curious, we saved a lot of the cups from last year and we're just reusing them this year, but when all said and done, tomatoes and peppers will be over 220 starts. But not all will go. No. That's, Some won't make it. Yeah. That's trying to factor in enough. If I needed, if we wanted eight good plants, I'm planting like 12. And then we'll just give them to people that need them. If everybody makes it good, then we'll yeah. give it to whoever needs starts. I have a so. tougher time with the tomatoes. Um, they tend to get really spindly. 
Yes, they do. We, yeah. We've had a hard time with tomatoes. I think it's because we've just done them so many years near a window and they lean. We tried grow lights so last year too. We'll find out. And we have grow lights again for this year. All right, next we're going to start dinner, but we also have some baby chicks hatching. So I just got a quick clip this morning. It's hard to see because they got to stay in the incubator. Tomorrow I'll be able to show you those good. We have six so far have hatched out of 20. We woke up this morning. I gotta lift it. We woke up this morning to a couple new baby chicks. We have 20 eggs in here. All should be hatching. We have two so far. They should all be hatching in the next couple days. All right, now we're gonna start dinner. Okay, so in this burner here, in this pan, I'm gonna turn that burner on. I'm gonna melt some butter. We're gonna make an Alfredo sauce to make this casserole that we're gonna do. So I'm just gonna melt some butter. Okay. I just want this to go on and get all the way melted. This is about a half cup of butter. To this, I'm going to add some minced garlic, like three to four cloves of garlic. Just kind of stir that in here. Then I have about four ounces of cream cheese and two cups of shredded Parmesan along with one and a half cups of heavy cream. And I'm just going to stir this all in here. I also want to add some Italian seasoning. Ooh, that was way too much. Try and get some of that out. That was way too much. I thought I had it on the sprinkle side. And I did not. It's going to be very Italian-y. Okay, I just want to go on and keep this going though. Get all this melted. This cream cheese will give it a good creaminess. Okay, so now I'm going to add just a little bit of salt and some pepper. Okay, so in this bowl I have just some chicken breasts that I've cubed in bite-sized pieces. And then in the other bowl, I just cut up some asparagus and I'm gonna put that over here. And then in this pan here, or skillet, I am going to brown up this chicken. So I'm just gonna heat some olive oil in here. Once it gets hot, I'm just going to brown it. Once the chicken's browned, I'm going to throw it in here with the asparagus so that I can mix that all up along with the Alfredo sauce. And that's going to be our casserole that's going to go in the oven. We'll top it with a little bit of mozzarella cheese. <clears throat> so I'm going to start just putting that in here. And 
I'm just going to brown it a few minutes on each side. pepper to the chicken. the other side and get that nice and round too. And then I'll do that with the rest of the chicken as well. And then I'm going to add the rest of the chicken. I'm going to again pop that with some salt and pepper. Okay, so next I'm going to add all the Alfredo sauce here. And just toss this around. in this casserole dish. I'm going to top it with some mozzarella. And some dried parsley. And then I'm going to put this in the oven to bake probably about 20 to 30 minutes until everything's nice and bubbly. Okay, so while that's going, I am going to add a little salt to the water. And I'm going to add some pasta. I've already got pasta open. It's some macaronis and some uh, bow tie pasta. I'm just again trying to just kind of use up what I have already opened in my house. So I'm just going to let this cook until the pasta is done. All right, so this is what it looks like. All served up on top of some noodles and Charles is gonna taste it for you. All right, let's see what you think.
You know, you've been letting this sit for like 10 minutes. And I it's know, still it's still steaming, steaming hot. Crazy. Chicken's good and tender too. How's the Alfredo? Very good. I thought I probably should have said that first, but I didn't. <laughs> Very good. All right, I'm gonna call. It's good, but it's hot. <laughs> I'm gonna call the girls Burger. down. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for tonight. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you decide to stick around and join us tomorrow for another what we're eating. I know today was a quick, quick day of meals, fast and easy. But sometimes there's just days like that, and it works out great for me. <laughs> so I will see you guys so tomorrow, and I'll have a bunch of little chickens to show you. So have a great day or night wherever you are. Bye, everybody.